we'll talk about three things that I feel are essential to sales success. You want to have the right mindset, the right skill set, and the right tool set. And in order to succeed, we need all three. I'd like to, you to give a warm welcome to five of your peers who have agreed to be gracious enough to share their insights with us. I always want to do the best I can every single day. Since I was a kid, I was always trying to be the best person I can in terms of education, sports. Until today, I want to do exactly the same thing every single day, grow and learn and sleep at night knowing I've done everything I can that day. What I find really validating and motivating and gets me up in the morning as a salesperson is solving customer problems. I, I did a little bit of drama and public speaking as a kid and it just was something that I grew up watching, Second City, and I thought, man, these people are really funny and that might be something fun to try um, as a career. So I actually went and did some workshops with them in the summer. And, and I would recommend if you want to overcome uh, confidence issues, go to an improv class and learn how to be in the moment. Well, I like to challenge myself, I like to take risk. I think I'm very not afraid of falling down. And every time I fall down, I will walk, uh, climb up stronger. If the client says no to me, I will make sure that um, it's, not a, it's a now no, but not a future no, and I will make, work in the direction to get a yes. Having the view that you won't fail there is always an opportunity, there is always something that will close, there is always something you can drive. Um, you've got your ups and downs, and I think maintaining a level of consistency and candor can only help you. There are really two mindsets. One is a fixed mindset, and the other one is a growth mindset. And fixed mindset means that uh, we think that our intelligence is limited, and that our talents are limited. And a growth mindset is that we think that with great education, we can improve our intelligence. And with great training, we can improve our talents. You have to do one thing a day that scares you. And I, I think the same is true in sales, that you have to take things on that you know, might have been beyond your reach. Um, I think when we're in other ter people's territory or in other people's country, we need to play their game. And I really think that you have to have a tenacity and a toughness um, uh, in your mindset in sales so that you don't get too, too high when you're successful and you don't get too, too low when you're not successful. And instead, you keep sort of an even keel mindset to the ebbs and flows of the day to day. You don't lose faith that you will prevail in the long term, but in the same token, you confront the brutal facts of the day to day so that you keep pulling towards success. I think the most important skill in sales is listening. I like to get them to talk about themselves and their business as much as possible and really actively listen to them. I try to make every meeting, every conversation, every, every interaction we have with a client memorable or different or creative. Put a plan together to sell a result as opposed to sell, selling a particular product. What I do is I first listen to what they have to say. Why are they buying? What is the reason? Uh, like earlier mentioned this morning, the compelling event, whether or not they have budget, um, what if they have C-level support, have they thought, um, how are they arranging the purchasing process? Is it really thought through or is it learning and going along the side? How many vendors have they invited? I think we have to go a step further and start asking different questions, connecting to people on an emotional side rather than just uh, feature and functionality side. I think at the top of the funnel, you really need as much information, targeted, up-to-date, accurate information that you can so that you can make a prospecting process more efficient. Um, so I like salesforce.com. I use iSell uh, to create targeted uh, groups of leads. Uh, another thing I like doing is I use LinkedIn. Too. Yeah, I, I think LinkedIn is a fantastic tool and it's, it, it's a great product. If I meet new people at a client, the first thing I will do when I get back to the office is send out the LinkedIn invitations. Well, the main purpose of, I think, the tool is to have more time to sell more. So that's the main thing. And then the second thing, if you know how to update Salesforce properly, you won't get those 19, 20 calls from management and the different people asking you, where are you? You just reply and say, why well, check Salesforce. <laughs> right. That's it. So. Questions, I just want to wrap it up. If you add those three, have the right mindset, the right skill set, and the right tool set, you end up with victory. 
Give him a big hand. Thank you.